In this video I'll show how to set up a pre-flash Dabbler MEP module for reading meter data on Achelian and NES meters. I'll also show how to fetch the meter data in Home Assistant. For details on how to flash the firmware on the Dabbler MEP module visit the Dabbler Git repository and read the description there. To install the module you will on some meters be able to slide it directly into a socket and on other models you have to use the screw terminals under the cover. Removing the cover on the meter must be done by an authorized electrician. It is not allowed to do by yourself, and it also involves hazard that could result in serious injury or death. For the screw terminal version an adapter is available for easy connection of the Dabbler MEP module, as shown here, while the module fits directly into the slide-in socket of the earlier version. After installing the Dabbler MEP module, we'll head to the computer and do the configuration. So, now we'll have to wait until the access point generated by the module shows up. We'll connect to it, open a browser and access the device configuration page. Here we'll have to fill in the MBK key that you have gotten from your service provider. Besides entering the MBK key, we can also set up an MQTT access in case you have that. I'm using Home Assistant, and I'll use the integration already made available through HACS to fetch the meter data in Home Assistant. After setting up the device you can go and look on the live data here. I'll not use the graphical interface directly on the module here since I have Home Assistant as my data aggregator and interface for all my smart devices. Next up I'll find the integration for the module in HACS. We can now add the integration. We'll be able to see module info and meter data. I'll add the meter data to the built-in energy dashboard in Home Assistant. Here you'll have to select the correct entity, and you'll also be able to provide an entity for exported electricity in case you have solar panels. I'll enable all the data that makes sense for me to look at.
As a final note here I would like to give credits to Team Dabbler which has made all the software for the module, made the first module designs and initiated this project in the first place. I have simply made a bit more sleek hardware solution as a contribution to the project. Links to both Dabbler and where to purchase is shown here but can also be found in the video description. Thanks for watching.